Happy New Year everybody. I'm Will Kidd and I'm here to give you a video walkthrough of our upcoming January 10th and 11th hybrid estate sale. If you haven't been to one of our hybrid sales, what, you'll, what that means and what you'll see when we go inside is some of the items are tagged and some of the items are bidding online. I'll give you a little more detail about that as we walk through the house. But let's go have a look inside. This house is in the Carnes area and uh, going to be real easy to find. Hopefully the warm weather will join us by the time the sale comes around. First item in the door is this beautiful East Lake chest. It's got the marble top and you, as you go through the house, you'll see some of the items have this tag hanging off of it. That means the item's bidding online. It's very simple to bid online. Just go to our website, follow the links to the uh, to bidding page. You just have to register to bid. And if you, uh, the bidding ends Friday night and anything you win, you need to come pick it up on Saturday. Easy, easy as can be. We'll go down the hallway here and take a look at the bedrooms. We do have a nice linen closet here. There's some beautiful things in it. And we've got this bedroom, which got a very handsome queen size bed. It's a really pretty headboard in excellent condition. And there's two very pretty uh, nightstands on either side, as well as some great lamps. These items are all tagged for the sale. So when we open Friday at two o'clock, these items will all be available for immediate purchase. If I come around the side here, you'll see a really gorgeous, we call this a double bow front because you can see it arches around on the front there and it does it again over here. So that's two bows, double bow front chest, and, and that includes the mirror. That item's bidding online. All the pieces on the top are, are, are in the tag sale with the exception of this really cool blue lamp uh, with the lady figurine. That's a very vintage lamp. Uh, the lady that lived here is in her 80s and that was hers as a child, so that's been around for a while. In the closet, we've got a lot of her nice clothes. This lady worked at the front, as she used to say, in the lab. So she greeted the public, had to dress nicely, and she left some very pretty clothes behind. I've got this little vanity seat here uh, for sale as well. Going back out into the hallway to the uh, next bedroom, you'll come in and we've got this handsome oak desk that's bidding. And you know, your sort of standard complement of office supplies. If you need some good old hard shell luggage, there's a tonight set. That pretty little table is tagged. The jewelry chest is really nice. I've got several pictures of it online and it will be bidding. And this handsome end of bed bench is also a bidding item. But however, the, the pieces on it that you see will all be uh, part of the tag sale as well. The uh, few items here in the closet, there's some pretty scarves and shoes. I'm over past a prayer rug there. That piece is in the tag sale. I'm gonna head back down the hallway here uh, quick peek into the bathroom, lots of uh, ladies' uh, bath supplies. We'll go up into the, uh, the living room here. The pair of swivel rockers, I think so I can get through the door for a better view here, are bidding online, as is the drop leaf table there. It's very pretty. There's the other of the two swivel rockers. On the table, you see I've got lots of wedge wood and another real pretty lamp. I've got a good set of books in this house. Not too many, but interesting stuff, including a bunch of cookbooks. And then there's uh, just interesting decor all through this room. There's gonna be some Christmas decor and things like that. This uh, table came into the sale kind of late. I'm not sure how good my picture is in the gallery, but that's a beautiful cherry Queen Anne coffee table. And there's a lot of fine crystal uh, sitting up on the top of it. This table I'm crazy about, table and four chairs. It's very antique, East Lake. Just take a look at the legs on this thing. We do have one leaf with it. Um, the leaf is kind of a add-on later. It doesn't have the same beveled edge, but it does go in the table. And you've got those really cool stair-step legs, uh, centerpiece. I mean, that's just a great, great table. Sitting on top is a super, super clean set of Franciscan Ivy. This is going to be about $450 asking price for the set. Buy it for that. Make us an offer that is well under a uh, sort of an internet, uh, even auction type retail. I got these four neat plates here that came in kind of late. You've got, um, there's Blunt Mansion, James White Fort, uh, the Kelly House. So they're historic Knoxville places. Back behind me here in the light, uh, you've got a little bit of Christmas stuff and there's a pretty good complement of kitchen items here. Trays, platters, you know, your appliances, serving pieces, flatware, on and on that goes in the kitchen. There's a good set of glassware here and in the corner. One of my favorite pieces in the house is this really cool aluminum canister set uh, with the black top. And then uh, again, uh, just a little bit of cookware here, but there is a very good microwave. So I roll into the dining room. There's a lot of good crystal and china in this house. 
There is a salt cellar collection, among other things. There's Linux in here. There's some Waterford in the house. We've got a, here's a little salt cellar collection. It will be inside the, the China Hutch when you get here. The back up, let me show you that China Hutch. It's a fabulous piece. Mirrored back, bow front, carved sides. It's bidding right now. And last I looked, it was very, very inexpensive. Uh, I think that piece should go for five, six, maybe $700, and it's nowhere near that. So uh, you got to take a look at that. And then we, uh, another, this came in uh, late. We found the, uh, the silver plate set. It's, I can't, I've never seen one quite this clean, this old. I mean, I don't know that, that they ever used it. It's immaculate. So if you're looking for a nice set of silver plate, that one's good to go. There's also a toothpick collection there, which is interesting. Toothpick holders. If I swing back around, we're going into the front room now. This is the really great harvest table. Uh, this is one of the David Grant Howard tables. You can see his stuff at davidgranthoward.com, or I think uh, he's got another website. It's called um, the hand, thehandmadetable.com. Uh, if you Google David Grant Howard, you'll find, you'll find this stuff. Anyway, this is a fantastic piece. You will not find tables like this. It's antique material. It's a couple hundred year old boards. But if I can get a close up of this, this is a two board top. This looks like a 20 inch wide board here. That is antique wood, but it's new construction. However, it's made with all the old uh, skills. So it's pegged together. There's no hardware in it. So that is a very awesome uh, table. And some of the other items that are bidding online, the small pieces, the Cash Family, the Clinchfield Pottery right there. Um, let's see. There's also some tag items up here. The purses that are bidding are up here. They're awfully pretty. And the canister set. And the, uh, the three-legged table here got a lot of attention. It's bidding online. That's a beautiful piece sitting there. And one of the cherries of the house, this fantastic handmade Italian burl wood uh, chest is going to be in this living room as well. Again, it's bidding online, but these really cool pieces you see on top of it are, um, are all in the tag sale with the exception of the crystal lamp that's there lit on the left. All right, we're going to cruise back around this way. Oh, the, chair, the two chairs in here, that's the, uh, the wing back here. And then over on the other side of the room, the lazy boy, those are all bidding. And, but however, these plant stands, they're very handsome and they'll be, uh, they'll be tagged for the sale on Friday when we open it too. I'll give you a quick peek in the garage. We got a lot more work to do and all the jewelry still got to come in. There's good jewelry from the house. I'm gonna bring in some extra jewelry. So you'll see a bunch of that. But the thing I kind of wanted to highlight is we brought in from another estate. One, two, uh, we brought in, if, if by the time you put it in long boxes, it'd probably fill eight or nine long boxes. It is comics galore. Everything is basically pristine, clean, like this, new in the, uh, uh, you know, the bag and the board. And it came from tfaw.com, seems to be where most of the uh, guy who had these ordered them from. But there's tons of it, DC, Marvel, and a bunch of your other ones. Here's a few of the, um, the uh, stuff, what's it, Morbius, G.I. Joe, Thanos, Thunderbolts, Journey into Mystery. And of course, you got your Batman, Robin, uh, all those guys. And there's a whole, these two uh, crates here, they're full of trade, so your hardback and your uh, perfect bound um, soft softback so the ton of that and then on this wall we'll have it better arranged by the time you all get here but if you haven't seen the stuff on the website that has to do with the um, the gemology for instance you know here's a whole tray full of gems that came from a gemologist but this whole set right here is a gem appreciation course with a whole slide projector uh, a whole slide series this is a whole set of books that's a jewelry appreciation course with how many is this one two three four five six seven eight nine full carousel trays of jewelry so that you can learn to appreciate jewelry from the different eras that's a really cool thing and down there in the boxes on the bottom we have the gemology courses this is professionals the courses that people who own jewelry stores great diamonds they take the courses that are in these boxes. this is an older version it's 1975 but that's gia's course on uh, diamond grading and on color stones as well as merchandising and then this piece right here it's a specialty item but uh, man if you ever if you just love diamonds this is a five thousand dollar piece of equipment and it is a uh, the dia view so you can it's made to hold a diamond and then you can project it on a screen so you can see it a gazillion times larger than it really is so you can check the color and the clarity and all that stuff so I'm going to stop there, folks. Come see us. This sale starts Friday at 2, and you can bid online already. Again, Happy New Year. Check the website for other updates, and we'll talk to you soon.